this video will be a bit different. We are gonna talk about the reincarnation of particular historical figures. Maybe some of you watching this will think but <laughs> this is my uh, personal theory. You can either agree with it or be against it. So um, let's start with um, King Louis the Sixteenth. So, I'm sure uh, most of you um, were taught in school that uh, he was a um, tyrant and incompetent uh, king who was responsible for the outbreak of the French Revolution. Um, this is of course not true. He was. Uh, there were too many traitors who tried to sabotage his wall. So, and the reincarnation of King Louis the Sixteenth, in my opinion, maybe you will disagree, I think is Saw Nicholas the second and I'm gonna explain to you why I think it is so if you look at both uh, figures um, King Louis the sixteenth and Tsar Nicholas the second um, both of them didn't really want to become a king. There, in, in the case of Louis the Sixteenth, his grandfather died and he was very young, only 19, and he suddenly became king and was responsible for an entire country. And the same can be said about Saint Nicholas the Second. So, and let's start with uh, the next one, um, Queen Marie Antoinette. I made two videos about her, one in German and one in English. Um, yeah, I think I don't have to tell you more what I think about her. It's not what mainstream historians tell you. Uh, she was a good queen in my opinion. She helped the poor and she was definitely not responsible for the outbreak of the French Revolution. And in my opinion, the reincarnation of Queen Marie Antoinette was the wife of Tsar Nicholas II, uh, Queen Alexis. And I'm gonna explain to you why. So, uh, Queen Alexis was German, 100%, uh, and the same about uh, Marie Antoinette. And both of them were queens of a foreign country and both of them were not really liked by the aristocracy there. They were both uh, very moral women, so the aristocracy spread a lot of lies about them in case of Marie Antoinette that uh, 
she was promiscuous, that she had uh, different lovers, and that she uh, had a lavish lifestyle while the people of France barely had something to eat. And uh, the same with Queen Alexis. Um, well, um, many say that uh, she was kind of a cold woman, very distant, and so on. And like I said, the Russian aristocracy didn't like her because she was uh, German. And, and yeah, maybe you will say that it is normal that um, each country wants to be ruled by their people, by, in case Russia, they want to be ruled by Russians, uh, Germans want to be ruled by Germans, and France wanted to be ruled by uh, the French people. So, she was German, she wasn't liked by the aristocracy, and she wasn't very popular with the Russian folk either. So I presented to you um, certain historical figures. I think that both of them, yeah, King Louis the Sixteenth, Queen Marie Antoinette, Tsar Nicholas the Second. Queen Alexis, they are we account nations, like I said, you can disagree with it or not. And another um, historical uh, figure I want to uh, mention is Maximilien de Robespierre, and I think his reincarnation was Vladimir. Ilich Ulyanov, or known as um, Lenin. So, if you look at them uh, both, Robespierre, uh, he was, yeah, you can say he was the main force between the outbreak of the French Revolution, and he was not very French, or I believe he wasn't even uh, French at all, according to my research. He was uh, of Irish descent. And the same can be said about um, Lenin. He was of, uh, I think, a Bashkir German and Tatar descent. I'm, I'm not sure about that, but I believe he didn't have a single drop of Russian blood. So they were both foreigners and Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov Lenin and he said that he said himself that uh, Robespierre is his uh, role model, his idol. Yeah. I think that is that's it regarding them. And Another um, historical figure I wanted to mention, or in fact even two, is uh, Napoleon. And, well, maybe you disagree, no, maybe not. It's, like I said, it's entirely up to you. So, I think his reincarnation can be said was Adolf Hitler. Hitler. Because if you look at them both, uh, Napoleon was the um, leader of France at that time, and many say, yeah, but he wasn't really French, he was mostly of uh, Italian descent, and the same with Hitler. Yeah. Maybe you will say, or oh, Austrians, but they are Germans too. I personally agree with that. I don't want to offend um, any Austrians watching that video, but at that time when Hitler was um, alive, 
with uh, Germany and Austria they were two separate countries so they have that in common they ruled over a country which they were not um, from like I said Napoleon he was basically or in fact Italian and uh, Hitler he was Austrian so and um, both of them uh, Napoleon uh, he served in the army and he was uh, responsible for the uh, yeah how do you say um, yeah he took care of uh, wireless uprising and this basically made him king and Hitler was uh, yeah he served uh, in the first world war decorated uh, war hero and he later became the um, yeah, ruler of Germany well that's uh, basically it I hope I could entertain you at least a bit I hope it was not see you guys next time have a nice day and god bless it.